Good afternoon, or good evening, actually. It is... I don't know what time it is. Oh, well. It's still light outside, which is nice. And... I... am smoking... My pipe. <laughs> Sorry for the awkward... I don't know if I adjusted my my camera clock or not, but today I was smoking. Oh, you can't! Oh, there we go. Tom's red and black. I assume they call this that because it got it has red Virginia and black Cavendish. I'm assuming. I could be wrong. I don't know. And this is my first time smoking, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Tastes like it, English. Well, that's from yesterday's. You get a slight taste of the Virginia. Not as much, though. So anyways, what I want to talk about is the fact that I smoked a cigar, cigar today. My last one, actually, which is kind of sad. Uh, it was a... Uh, Hatteran. I had that today. I gotta tell you, it was quite refreshing. It was really good. And I thought that it would be kind of not good. Because, uh... Last time I had one of those, it was cold, it was windy, and it was not a very pleasant cigar. But, it was good today. It was actually good tasting, smooth, uh, didn't have a lot of problems with it. And I'm actually thinking that the temperature where you smoke your cigar plays a major role in how you enjoy it. And this ties into a thing I was once listening to on NPR about how wine, the taste of the wine changed if you changed the surrounding music or sounds around the person drinking it like a red, a nice red that was good with classical music tasted horrible with metal music being played. I find that interesting that your environment uh, plays a role in how you in, in experience something. So yeah. Well, Tom's red and black. I'll report back to you tomorrow about how it was. Have a good day. Actually, evening. Probably even waking out.